So tonight is date night. We make it a weekly tradition and we had really fun plans for tonight here in Medellin, Colombia. We were actually going to go ice skating, but right as we walked in, this is what we found. I'm so sad. <laughs> a couple days ago when we first got in just to do some general shopping and we saw the ice skating rink and we're so excited it was the weekend at that time so we wanted to avoid the crowds and come back on monday which is today and it looks like yesterday was the last day for it we did talk about this possibility thinking they can't have an ice rink here all the time but we just didn't think the very day that we came to actually ice skate it would be gone <laughs> Luckily, we have a whole fun-filled night planned and we're pretty flexible since we've been traveling full-time for over a year. So this is the part that Nate's really excited for and I'm glad we get to do it for even longer now. I'm very excited. You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you tied a rope to me me every day I was down with an illusion like a sparrow with broken wings but now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet that you showed up was I don't think I've ever gotten a strike on the first throw in my life We have a very close game going. Five minutes left, and we've got one and a half frames left. Four minutes left. I'm gonna lose. Only Nate actually takes advantage of the last two minutes of bowling when we just finished three games in an hour. just started going but that was my third turn on the 10th round and he got a strike so I beat him by two I'll take it <laughs> yeah. it's time to do something that we both love to do
tacos, and none of them Alicia eats, so I don't even have to share. But I got chorizo tacos, which I absolutely fell in love with in Mexico. I got carnitas and pork belly. For the last two months now, actually, I haven't eaten any red meat, and so the pork belly and chorizo tacos sound so good. So I might break that today, but I ordered a seafood taco and a chicken taco and they both smell and look amazing. So I think I'm going to be okay. Mm, that is so delicious. All right. I love hot sauce, spicy food, anything. I've actually adapted pretty well to it. And most people in most restaurants we go to will not serve me spicy food or spicy sauces. They usually give me something similar to ketchup. However, today, Alicia says this particular hot sauce is like really hot. So I threw it all over this taco and I'm going to try it despite my better judgment. So like most people at restaurants, Alicia has vastly underestimated me. I don't think it's that spicy. It is spicy, but it's not that bad. Dinner was absolutely delicious. But there's one thing that I think we're just missing. And I think we have to go find it. <laughs> I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So home. One thing that's always necessary is dessert. Tonight we got mochi mochi ice cream. We've never had this before. So this is a Japanese dessert and it's ice cream in these little things. <laughs> and I had to ask her how we order and how we eat them because I had no idea. So we got these little biodegradable plastic things to use with our hands to eat them, like little sandwiches. Cheers, eating ice cream with your hands. Mmm. Mmm. Very different than what we were expecting. The outside is like chewy, and the inside is ice cream. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the outside of a spring roll, like that, like wrapping on it, and then wrapped in ice cream. It's delicious. I like it. All right, I just thought of a fun little game. What's that? I'm gonna guess what your favorite kind of date night is, and you're gonna guess mine. Okay. And then I'm gonna tell you what it really is, and you're gonna tell me what yours is. This should be interesting. I'm in. Nate's favorite kind of date night is any kind of activity or game. Like, tonight was perfect. Had we been ice skating and bowling, even better, but just bowling was totally perfect for him. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I like to do anything that revolves around competition. So ice skating, I probably would have fallen and somehow justified the fact that I was better. And bowling, well, I mean, I won one game, I think, so <laughs> that was enough for me. But I love competition, so she's absolutely right. Alicia. She loves <laughs> romantic gestures times a million. And she loves surprises. And it makes her even happier when I plan the date night so that she just like relax and enjoy it. Surprises are absolutely my favorite kind of date night and Nate is so good at surprises. He honestly always gets me and it's so fun and even if it's just like a silly little thing like picnic in the living room, always amazing and I love it. We did pretty good. Good job. Thank you. I was surprised you got it. I thought it was gonna be... <laughs> It's the end of our date night here, and we just wanted to remind you before we go home that it doesn't really matter if you have a super extravagant and romantic date night on top of the Eiffel Tower. Or you just sit at home, cook dinner with each other, and lose board games to your significant other, <laughs> or anybody else for that matter. The important part is that you're together. And if you agree with that, just hit that like button. Just like that, so many times, it's just unbelievable. And if you want to stamp your passports with us again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. We need that unerrip. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
That was like a Look at your hands. Plan. I know, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I was really distracted by that. <laughs> So there is one more thing that we always love to do at the end of every single date night. Gross. Oh my gosh, gross. Alicia's, uh, she's pretty simple. She likes staying in, make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, watch TV. Okay, <laughs> your first, your joking guess. I should have known you were joking. I was like, this is so bad. <laughs> Thank you.